and then dipta, where there are three or four ecstatic symptoms present. That is known as dipta. So dipta is panch, five, or the fifth, udipta. Four or five uh, symptoms are manifest. And sudipta is like is mahabhav, a mahabhav stage of mahabhav. All at once, all the eight ecstatic symptoms are present. Roman etc. And this is not possible for the sadhak, the practitioner. Only this is present in Srimati Radhika. The uh, Srimati Radhika in her state of transcendental madness in separation of Sri Krishna. This Madanakya Mahabhav, this uh, limit of Prem. All at once, these eight symptoms are present. In this stage, only Srimati Radhika can experience. This is not possible even for Lalita and others. What to speak of ordinary human beings, even for sadhaks, practitioners, where the stage of transcendental love has been described in Shastra. Well, these stages, Madanakya Mahabha, all these thoughts are being expressed here. Especially at the stage of Mahabhava has been described, Ruda, Ariruda, Mahabhava. These are being described in Javad Ashray Vritti, so some Vrita Dasha uh, of, of the extreme of Anurag, where there is no place for it to go. This Anurag, this Parakashta, uh, um, the last limit of of divine love, in that last stage. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, there is this saying. There's contradictory ex expressions, yet where there is no place for it to go, it is going. Hmm. How is this possible? And the example is given like one glass of water, full up to the top. If you put one drop more of water, that water will spill over. But amazingly, you are giving water, the glass is not overflowing. How is this possible? This is a chintya that uh, inconceivable potency, and that's the example given in Bengali. This proverb is there. Horahuri means mm, like a rush. Horahuri is like rushing to the bus. Horahuri, catching the bus. This competition is there. Who will get there first and uh, to the higher level? In Navadik Parikram, there's so much pushing and shoving. Who will go? Who will get there first? This is Hura Huri. They, people don't see who is around them, who is in front of them, who is behind. It's just they want to go there and see first. They do not care. 
They don't care if the person has fallen, they walk over them. This is huraori, the meaning, the increasing competition is such, there's no consideration of anything else. Like Prasha, like I have to take first. Even thousands of hands are presented, but I have to get, I put my hand first. In this way, this beautiful Mm, this Chaitanya Charitamrita is describing this condition, seeing seeing uh, each other's beauty. Shrimati Radhika is increasing her beauty endlessly, and she, Krishna is also at the same time increasing his beauty. As well. as much as Krishna is increasing his beauty, Shrimati Radhika is increasing her beauty, and less. Uh, like putting one hand in front of another and another and another like when prasad is being distributed there's hura huri there's who will take first who will take the most Shrimati Radhika's beauty and glories the Goswamis are explaining in this way her increasing beauty. Like Rasabhas Dosh. It's a contradiction. But it, in, it is only possible in the transcendental world that two contradictory principles are present at the same time. Like the glass of water and the, uh, full of, of water and putting more water in it, the, there is no overspill. The glass of water is able to hold and contain all that you put into it. This uh, Prem Madhurima, the, the mellows of transcendental love, are ever increasing. And each Srimati Radhika and Krishna, they are uh, competing with each other. Who can increase their beauty? And as much as they increase, it increases more. Anurag, and this is the topmost limit where it reaches. This stage of Sasamvidasha or Javad Ashray Vritti is reached. You can experience yourself. What this stage of Anurag could be. Sasam Vidasa or Javad Ashray Vritti. All the ingredients of Prem, transcendental loving mellows, are present all at once. Each individually uh, start to increase. How beautiful. In Ujjwal Nilamani, Vishwana Jagurit Thakur is explaining. Only this is possible in Shrimati Radhika. And, and it can be seen in Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This Adiruddha Mahabha stage with these six character six character characteristics. Ramanda Shobhakarita. Ramanda Shobhakarita. Dullabhata? Dullabhata? Premakam? No. Ramanda Shobhakarita. Tirdhya Joni Prapti Lal Shat. Tirdhya Joni. Atma Vishmiti. Atma just like Pramanda Shobakarita. Tir 
दिव्य जोनी प्राप्ति लालश दिव्य तीव्र जोनी प्राप्ति लालश दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू अटेन इन द्यूमन इन इन द्यूमन बॉडी श्रीमती राधिका इज सेन being in the female body i cannot meet with shri krishna look at these deer who are so fortunate vidata brahma ji the providence she is praying to providence in my next life give me the body of an animal this is we think that the animals are lower species of life but we th- consider it a low grade but here this pashu yoni this uh, animal species is is been uh, glorified higher than the human uh, to attain uh, at the lord because they're able to come so close to krishna meaning this at the time of meeting it seems uh, one uh, one span, uh, many million millions of brahma's lifetimes have passed it seems like a flash in the pan what a small amount of separation seems like seems like millions of uh, so many days we have not met with govinda these six uh, characteristics are being six i'll see in my notes and she chaitanya mahaprabhu is running to brace jagannath mahaprabhu seeing him is fainted and fear again he came to see jagannath again and again she seeing shri chaitanya mahaprabhu's transcendental body the tapkanchana gorangi and very long body tall like a golden pillar pillar stump like a st- golden pillar golden statue how beautiful we cannot uh, it's like nitinan prabhu it's described like a golden mountain when we chant uh, this kirtan is like he's rolling like a golden mountain this has been described of nityananda prabhu in the same way shri chaitanya mahaprabhu his transcendental body and his ecstatic symptoms together combined his sanyas dress has just taken sanyas newly mundan ba mundan mundan his shaved head looking so beautiful and very beautiful eyes long eyes so dirgha nas and his red lips with such beautiful his rosy cheeks rosy cheeks this beautiful form of chaitanya mahaprabhu seeing this chaitanya uh, sarvabhama bhattacharya was amazed astonished and on top of which he was ex- uh, expressing the eg- eg- ecstatic symptoms oh, he stopped the pujari and what did sarvabhama bhattacharya do he took him to his own home and there and served him after some time nityananda and the prabhu came in this very beautiful past time ex- mah 
Prabhu uh, contained himself, managed himself, uh, composed himself. Sarvabhama Bhattacharya, he asked Mahaprabhu and uh, gave his identity. That I am the son of Sachimata, Nilambar Chakravati Thakur, and having a relationship with him, Sarvabhama Bhattacharya is very pleased. Therefore, he let him stay in, uh, in his home. Being a sannyasi, this is not good of you to dance like this and don't go alone. And Sarvabhama Bhattacharya started to give him knowledge, preach to him, and tell him of the rules and regulations of sannyas. A sannyas should stay in one place and study Vedanta, control the senses, and he gave such knowledge. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is very quiet and listened. No, but Sarabhama Bhattacharya insisted him to study Vedanta. And Mahaprabhu agreed with him. I was not qualified to take sannyas, but somehow or another, this this mood came in me that I took sannyas. I accepted sannyas. And Sarvabrahma Bhattacharya pacified him. No, no problem. Which sampradaya are you in? Bharati sampradaya. This is very high stage of sannyas. He is a grihastha. Grihastha is, he is a grihastha himself. He is wanting to give sannyas to Mahaprabhu. Huh? Mahaprabhu, he wanted to, he wanted to give teachings to Mahaprabhu that were higher than his his own sannyas level, and he requested him to study Vedanta. When when one has knowledge, then one's comp- composure it becomes uh, still and controlled. Brahmagyan, this is a s- characteristics of Brahmagyan in the Bhagavad Gita. Stita Pragya Kabhasha. Stita Pragya Shabhasha. Sam, one who has this Brahmagyan, uh, it becomes very still and composed. This shloka in Shrimad Bhagavad Gita, very nice shloka. Dukesh, yes. composed in uh, pain and suffering, no bhit rag, no anger. Stita Dhiru, a Muni, he's describing the characteristics of a Muni. He's not disturbed, he's still composed. Uh, no envy, no jealousy, no malice, no growth, anger. This. This, what is he describing? Uh, something that is unripened. Uh, 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 when you're cooking, when you put in the oil, then it, you get the noise of the frying uh, oil. But when it's cooked and goes brown, then then the, uh, then it floats on the oil, very peaceful and calm, and no sound is coming. If, when you puri. <laughs> Making puris. <laughs> puris. I thought he was talking about pakoras. Pakoras, puri, same thing. When this sound is being made, uh, bubbling sound. But when the puri is cooked, it floats on the oil quietly. When one attains this knowledge, it becomes peaceful. 
and quiet. Is the Rupa Mahapattacharya is giving this instruction? All this Tattvamasi, Sarupagya, Brahma. Then you will become peaceful. Then all this dancing and singing and showing, then they will all stop and you will become uh, peaceful. Aham Brahmasmi. So I will teach you Vedanta and in, you should study. And Mahaprabhu said, okay, very well. Nityananda Prabhu, he said, what, what pastime is this that you are performing? <laughs> Studying Vedanta. What Leela is this you are manifesting? Uh, studying Ved Puran. All these Ved Purans are manifest from you. Mahavansi, they have come from the Lord Bhagavan. And Nityananda is uh, amazed, astonished, this pastime that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is performing with Sarvabhama Bhattacharya. This, he gave this Vatsali, a parental uh, uh, affection towards him. He gave me shelter. Mahaprabhu is thinking. At that time, Nityananda Prabhu is saying, Are you giving him shelter or is he giving you shelter? Yeah. Who is giving shelter to who? As the Rubam Bhattacharya became a little angry on Nityananda Prabhu. I have given him shelter and now this person is causing a stir, uh, friction, <coughs> contradicting me. So he started to study Vedanta. In Mahaprabhu uh, pro performing his pastimes like an ordinary person. These Ved Ved Purans are manifested from you. You are you are studying. Uh, you were stu you were teaching in this place in Navadvi. And Mahaprabhu, in a very humble mood. And he told Nityananda, I have forgotten everything. In keeping this parental affection towards Sarvabhama Bhattacharya. Nityananda Prabhu said, Your pastimes are amazing. Even great uh, sages like Brahma and other demigods cannot understand 